Hi guys, um, I'm back again and today I'm going to attempt, I will say attempt because it's an, a pavlova in the air fryer and I I am really used to making pavlovas in the oven. I don't even do them because I've tried them a couple of times and they never ever work for me so I totally gave up on doing those <laughs> and um, but I have had a request to um, try the pavlova in the air fryer, which was originally from, um, was it, uh, it was a lady who, if I remember correctly, it was, a, it was a Kiwi lady, and she, um, I think she moved over to Australia or something like that, I could be wrong, but I'm just, that's what I think, and um, she wanted to make one in the air fryer, so I gave it a go, and Apparently the whole thing just went viral all over the internet <laughs> and but so this is the recipe that she has used and I'm going off that okay and in it it has got four egg whites oh, first of all I'll just say that this recipe is for a 5.3 liter air fryer I only have a 3.2 liter air fryer so I'm just going to put in as much as what I can put in there and if it doesn't all fit in there I will keep it and I'll use I'll make some of those little mini ones afterwards or something just so that you're aware it is for a 5.3 litre one okay again four egg whites so that's separated the eggs there um, I've got a cup of caster sugar Three teaspoons of corn flour. Oh, where am I? Three teaspoons of corn flour, and in here I have one teaspoon of white vinegar. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is chuck the egg whites into. I've got a whisky machine here. You can let me just move things over. You can use a um, just a bowl with a hand beat. You know, with your hand beater, electric hand beater. That is. <laughs> um, if you use it, if you otherwise, if you try and do it with a wooden spoon, you are gonna be there all day. <laughs> right, so we'll just move this over a bit so you can see what I'm doing. Pop that down. So I'm just gonna put the egg whites into here. Okay, first thing we're going to do is beat the egg whites till they're combined. Okay, so let's do this. Okay, those egg whites, I think anyway, <laughs> are combined now. Um, and so what we're going to do is slowly add the sugar in okay so we I won't talk while it's going because obviously it's too noisy and I'll probably fast forward through this anyway so but um, yeah so we'll carry on <laughs> It isn't, isn't ready yet as you can see but I just want to give it a quick little scrape down the sides to make sure everything is in there and then that's it now put it back in and let it carry on because it's got to make till it makes these peaks <laughs> Okay, 
can see it made a make a made a peep a peak peak <laughs> so it's um I think anyway I think it's really so what we would do is take that out get whatever we can pop that there take the bowl off and I'll just get rid of this machine there we go it's better Okay, all right. Now, what we've got, so you can see when you go like this, it's got these like peaks, it sits like that. Okay, now we have to fold through the corn flour and the vinegar. So, fold it through. This is the corn flour here. Here's our vinegar. And we'll just fold it through. Jeez, this bowl looks so huge compared to how much is in here. <laughs> so we're not stirring it, we're just lightly folding it. I think that's folded through enough. Okay, now we'll just pop that there. Now we're going to get the inside. You've already, I've done this one already. So I was onto it. I got it all organized. So we've got our basket. And it says to line it with tin foil, which I've done. And then line the tin foil while you... And look, bleh. Then line the tin foil with some um, baking paper. So I've done that. And then it says to spread over the baking paper. So we shall do that. Remember, I've never done this before. So I really don't have a clue what I'm doing. I'm just putting it in. I don't know how you spread it over. I suppose you just do that. <laughs> just remember, this is the recipe is for a 5.3 liter, and this is a 3.2. But I think I could put it all in there. Maybe it'll make it too much. Maybe it won't. We will see. Okay, just about, just a little bit left in the bottom here. Now it doesn't say anything about having to preheat it, so I haven't preheated the air fryer. Okay, sorry, just spread that out like it says to do, and I've used the whole thing here. So we'll see if it's too big for my little 3.2, or we'll see how it goes. Okay, so I've done that. Now it says to um, put it in the air fryer at 150 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes. And when you put it in, you put it in gently. Don't be rough and everything. I know, it just says that. Okay, so we'll put it in for 20 minutes and um, for 150 degrees Celsius. So I'll be back in 20 minutes. Okay, I've got that in the air fryer at the moment, but I just forgot to mention that while it's in the air fryer do not open it and check it you must leave it alone so don't even go near it for 20 minutes until it beeps okay so we'll be back then okay it's been going for 20 minutes now and it is finished you can see it's not going anymore now it says what to do is to just open it a little bit just like that and that's all so just a little can't even see what it looks like at the moment but it says to just open it that tiny bit like that and leave it for another 20 minutes and then after 20 minutes to come back so we'll be back after 20 minutes okay it's been 
20 minutes now that it's been just sitting in the air fryer so we'll go and grab it here it is <laughs> take it out of that now it says to just um, carefully so I'll just grab a plate let's get a plate and we'll grab the plate and it says to just carefully get it out of here so we'll do that and place it down here and it's just to take the tin foil away so you're just left with the um, with this bit here so well I mean it's a pebble over. <laughs> Looks pretty um kind of flat. But I could be just used to my mums that are big and fluffy. <laughs> so um but it's just it's a bit too warm at the moment. So what I'll do is I'll just leave it for another half an hour or so and then we'll come back and I'll give it a, I'll ice it. It might look better when it's iced. Well not iced, um cream on the top of it, yeah. And then we'll see what it's like. Okay, see you soon. Alright, here we have our pavlova. And it's cold now, so I don't know, we'll just ice it, eh? I think it's kind of flat, but you know. Got some cream here. I made some cream, so I'm just going to dollop some cream on it. Not going for anything flash. Oops. There we go. One Pavilova. So um, there you have it. Let's cut it and see what it looks like on the inside. Just a slice of it. Okay, too much cream I suppose, <laughs> but you can see it is actually quite light and fluffy on the inside, so that is good, it's just not very, let's have a look. It's just not very high, but I mean, I, I don't know, but let's see, you can see, see how very, it's very light and fluffy. Tastes nice anyway, and it's you can see the crunchiness on the top. Mm -hmm. Might not be the most um, beautiful looking pebble over, but it is nice and it did work, so you know you can do it. <laughs> All right, guys, see you later.